Southwest France has a long history of habitation. 30,000 years ago, Cro-Magnon, now thought early European humans, lived there. They were people like ourselves. They lived in caves, made stone tools, and hunted animals for food. Some painted pictures on cave walls. The paintings are found in seemingly special caves, distinct from their habitations. They painted the animals they saw and hunted. Deer, aurochs, mammoths. Sometimes they painted humans and occasionally abstract signs. We can only attempt to interpret these paintings. They may be part of a religious experience with the purpose of ensuring good hunting. They may simply be natural artistic expression. The cave of Peshmel near Cabaret is one such cave and is one of several painted caves in the vicinity. The paintings were discovered in the 1920s by 15-year-old Andre David, a local shepherd who had been exploring the cave for several months. The local priest was a prehistorian, so the discovery was recognised quickly. The Abbey realised the importance of the discoveries and started to document them. The land was bought by the commune, galleries were widened and a new entrance built. In 1924, the caves were open to the public. Here we see the newly opened cave with the abbey and some young visitors. The caves contained over 700 individual depictions. We know that men, children and probably women came into the caves. Some of the hand paintings are small and must have come from children's or women's hands. A young child's footprints were also found fossilised on the floor of the cave. So what are the famous spotted horses? Recently, DNA research found that prehistoric horses could have been spotted and led to reports that these paintings could be naturalistic representations. Well, actually, it isn't that simple. It isn't just the horses that are spotted. The horses are surrounded and covered by spots. This picture shows the outline of the horse. Note where the spots are. The horse's heads themselves are quite small as can be seen in this section. Why spots? One can only speculate. However, there are spots on several other Spain paintings. The horses are not the only paintings on the slab. They are painted over earlier paintings. For example, there is a large red fish, possibly a pike, painted under this horse on the right. At the moment, scientists can only date a tiny part of the painting. Most of the paints are manganese or iron oxides. Neither can be dated with carbon-14. However, there are some small areas where charcoal was used for drawing. This was dated at about 25,000 years before the present. Presumably, the underpainting fish is older. Other paintings in the cave have been dated to 16,000 before present, so the cave was being used for paintings for many thousands of years. One archaeologist, Michel Blanchet has spent many years studying these and other cave paintings. Lord Blanchet, who grew up a few kilometres from Peshmel, visited Australia and spent some time with Aboriginals who were still producing cave paintings. In some areas they used frayed twigs for brushes, but in Queensland, where the rocks were very uneven, just like the rocks in his home territory, they used a spitting technique. He recalled, in Queensland, I learned how people painted by spitting pigment onto the rock. They spat paint and used their hand, a piece of cloth or a feather as a screen to create different lines and other effects. Could these techniques have been used to paint the horses? Returning home, Lord Blanchet found a suitable cave in which to produce his own copy. His only concession to today was to use wood charcoal rather than manganese oxide. Experts told him that manganese oxide was toxic, producing psychotic behaviour and hallucinations. He followed the techniques used by the Aboriginals, grinding charcoal from the fire and using iron oxides from the soil. He mixed them with saliva to form a paint of the right consistency to spit. He made a chet sketch using a charred stick and then got spitting, shaping his hands as a stencil to direct the lines. Dots could be made perfectly using a piece of leather as a template. It took him 32 hours to paint this copy of the spotted horses.
Painting the horses gave him some insight into how the original artist might have felt. In his book he writes, I spent seven hours a day for a week. Puff, puff, puff. It was exhausting, particularly because there is carbon monoxide in the cave. But you experience something special painting like that. You feel you are breathing the image into the rock, projecting your spirit from the deepest part of your body onto the rock's surface. Maybe this gives us some clue as to why the earliest humans painted these images.